you see this right here? This is one of Sony's mirrorless biggest problems, both S7S3 and S7 IV. This door that covers the HDMI, it's so annoying that you cannot even, why did Sony think that it was okay to leave this thing hanging out? If I'm using HDMI and I'm using an external monitor, why would it be okay for this thing to hang out? We're gonna see how to take this thing off. Okay, we are gonna get rid of this HDMI door, like I said earlier, and caution anything to do with your warranty. I'm not encouraging anybody to, you know, go out there and mess up your camera. So I'm not responsible for anybody's warranty. I'm just sharing something, a risk that you're gonna take on this camera. It might void your warranty, just so you know. Um, so if you don't have the proper tools, like I'm gonna demonstrate, just do not try this. So yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna get the, rid of this door, but before we do that, safety precaution is just to pick up the battery. Get rid of the battery. So we are, we don't have any electronics going on and stuff. So I put this out of the way, open the HDMI door. So this thing, you, it's not like any other uh, earlier cameras or maybe Blackmagic or whatever, you just pop it out. Um, just pulling it out randomly would mess up you you will not be able to put it back so the process that i'm going to share with you is a process that would help you take it off and put it back on in the future if you have to yeah so first and foremost we're going to need a proper um a proper tool to use to open i have this uh, you know this tool case by i fix it there should be a link in the description i fix it uh, they make really nice uh, tools that help you open up uh, certain things micro small little screws so I'm gonna use one of these uh, the correct size just make sure you have the correct size that opens up these screws there's a bunch of screws so like about six screws that you have to deal with um, and make sure you have the right size of the screw um, so that you don't mess up. If you get something that is big, it's going to mess up the, the, the edges of the screw and you probably might not be able to take it off or might not be able to put it back on if you mess up the edges of the screw. So, I already know what size I'm going to use and I'm gonna pick it out. So, the first set of screws we're gonna take out are the ones by the HDMI port itself. Close that space. There are other screws when you pop up the other doors. There are the set of screws, like three. So it's actually a total of five. So we're going to take out. Um, oh, actually, on this A74 is just two of them. It's not on the A7S3. It's like six screws, but for the A74, it's just probably four. Oh, rather five actually. So we have to get rid of this one first as well. That's a total of five screws. The one by the 3.5 millimeter jack is the longer one and the other four are the same size. So what we're going to do is to take this whole thing off. Ooh, look at that. All we have to do, uh, I don't think we need to, with the S7S3, we have to kind of take one of the screws that holds the door. But I think for the S74, it's designed differently. And all we have to do is get rid of that. There should be like a small little uh, pin that holds the HDMI door. There's a pin right there, that little pin. If we take out that little pin, then we're able to take off the door. We don't have to touch any of these screws. For the S7S3, you have to touch the screw that holds the HDMI door back for the S7 IV. All you have to do is take out that little thing that holds the HDMI door. It's just like one of the ones in the watches. The watches have those little small pins that hold, that kind of hold the pivot of the, you know, of the HDMI door. So. So the good thing with iFixit, you have different, a bunch of different tools that can help you, you know, 
do different functions. So um, I'll kind of like pop that thing. You want to be so careful so you don't mess up. Um, pull it out the small little pin once you pull it out it kind of starts to pop out slowly by slowly you see it's popping out slowly by slowly but just make sure that you have enough to pop out when there is enough of it that pops out you can use just your fingers and pull the damn thing out you see that's the thing that holds the HDMI door you got some for the next thing is just use a little bit of force, not too much, and boop. That's it. And we have the HDMI door gone. And all we have to do is make sure that we put this back onto the camera. Just make sure that you store the spin and the HDMI door in a safer place, maybe like in a ziplock or something. And then from there, we have to open up these puppies and put them back on. Make sure it aligns correctly. There we go. We have our HDMI done. The door is gone. We don't have to bother. These others are not that, you know, they're not that crazy. They don't crazy, pop. they don't have like a crazy pop out. I could live with that, but this specific one I had to get rid of. So that's how you take it off. And you are always, you always have the flexibility to use, you know, some adapters if the HDMI pops out really too much you can use adapters you know depending on how you feel to use your HDMI or you can use adapters like these you know you can use adapters like those bonus tip is you can always get some of these HDMI covers online they're very cheap and just cover your Protect your HDMI just like that. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, share the video, feel free to comment. If you have any questions, just pop them up in the description down on the video. See you in the next one.